Hey guys, it's me, Sammy, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you my entire collection of dogs. Just kidding. But no, there are literally four dogs in here. There's Alexander, Bailey, Nina, and Daisy. Somewhere under there. I don't know if you can see her or not. She's hidden. Anyways, I'm joking about the dogs. So, but like if you hear dog noises, it's because of dogs. <laughs> um, but this video is gonna be a collection of my makeup, my entire makeup that is, that I have from 2018, right before I did my end of the year declutter, or after I did my end of the year, end of the year declutter, I don't know why that's so difficult for me to say. Um, but yeah, so this is my makeup drawer, and I'm still in my PJs, because it's a lazy Saturday, and this is like my only day off that I have. I get two days off, and spring break is happening. But anyways, yeah, this is my makeup desk. Um, this is something my mom got me. It's like a airbrush thing that I have not tried because I have to watch a video beforehand. Um, my sponges are in this corner, hidden. These are all my makeup brushes, my face brushes, and my eye brushes, and then my lash curlers. But, and I got that at Ross for like $7.99. Um, but this is where the rest of my face brushes are, so that's pretty cool. Um, and, uh, this drawer, it's actually two drawers. They come with five drawers. Um, but I got them at Michael's for about 20-something dollars. Um, and I just stacked them up. My boyfriend also has one. Don't mind my boyfriend. Move, Jordan. And his messy desk. Um, that's where it is so he has one now and now I have one but this is where I keep all my nail polishes makeup skincare and everything that I need in my day to get ready for the day I should say um but there's a picture of us and Alexander my dog um my sugar skull uh wax warmer because I'm obsessed with sugar skulls as you like you know you guys can tell there's Alexander again right over there um, these flowers, my best friend got them for me because they were from her wedding. She just recently got married, so that was the color theme of her wedding. Um, anyways, but on with the video. This drawer, the first drawer, is where all my skincare stuff is, like all the sample stuff and free stuff you get. Oh, and a tampon. Um, the stuff that you get from Ulta. This is some micellar water. Some hair removal cream for my upper lip. You know, everyone has upper lip hair. I don't care who you are. Um, witch hazel. This right here is my favorite uh, moisturizer. I don't know why I blinked out. This is my favorite moisturizer. It's just good for my dry patches that I have around my mouth, but I also have like very oily skin everywhere else. So this is like one of my favorite things to use because it just sinks into your skin and it it ups, it's absorbed by your skin so it just makes your skin feel very moisturized without having any 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 abundant oil left I'm not feeling like I know what I'm saying today but you guys understand me Ooh, oh my car <laughs> like a squirrel <laughs> I, I get fucking I get so distracted over shiny shit. Clear. Um, anyways, the second drawer is where I keep all my face products. Um, minus the face powders, but I can put face powders in here on this side. But anyways, um, this is all my foundations. I have the Wet n Wild, a couple e.l.f. foundations, two of the Born This Way foundations, um, Milani, Milani Conceal and Perfect, Rimmel, and then a couple of the It Cosmetics Your Skin Get Better, um, the Maybelline Matte and Poreless, and then Revlon Color Stay for a combination skin. Um, I have like three of these, so I really like this foundation. I also really like the Born This Way foundation, but I don't want to spend $40 for foundation, so like I'm trying to see what drugstore foundations I can use. Um, but anyways, I have for concealers, I have the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, Ulta Concealers, <laughs> this is so loved, um, the A Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye, NYX Dark Circle Concealer, um, it's like a peachy concealer, 
a couple of the Fit Me concealers from Maybelline. Um, a Catrice concealer and then a Wet n Wild concealer. Um, and then for face primers, I have the Too Faced Hangover RX, one of my favorites. Um, the Estee Lauder Matte Perfecting Primer. The NYX Shine Killer NYX Angel Wheel. I have two Cover FX Mini ones. This one's in the Illuminating, or that one's an Illuminating Formula, and this one is an Mattifying Primer with Anti- acne treatment which is really good i'm definitely planning on getting the full size of those or at least the travel size because i do do a lot of traveling um this is the nyx pore filler it's basically a dupe for this but this is just easier to apply this is the benefits pore Professional, one of my favorite and then the last one is the bobby brown face base and it has a whole bunch of vitamins it's just really good for if you're having a bad skin day it's really calming really good ingredients um for face primers we have the mac prep and prime Fix plus milani make it last and two of the urban decay d slick makeup setting sprays in this drawer i keep all of my um eyeshadow palettes or most of them the ones that will fit here and then i keep my uh face powders so for face powders i have a physician's formula illuminating one I have a couple Laura Mercier ones. I have the Too Faced Candlelight Powder, um, this NYX Finishing Powder, and Banana. I also have the RCMA No Color Powder, and the Cody Airspun Loose Powder. And these are just more of the Laura Mercier translucent powders. Um, so, I have the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette, Modern Renaissance, Urban Decay, Lorac refined romance palette this is a really beautiful one i got it at nordstrom rack that gold is stunning and this blush is stunning too it's a really nice mauve blush um we'll rock one and two the revolution neutrals versus neutrals palette that i like it's like this one but without the green shade um, Makeup Revolution Iconic 3 palette. It's supposed to be a dupe for the Urban Decay palette, but I'm not going to spend $54 on something that I can get for cheaper. It's not the same formula, obviously, but it's, you'll, it'll get the job done. Um, I have the Lorac Unzipped palette. It's just a whole bunch of pink mauve tones. I'm trying to open this with, like, one hand is crazy. Sorry if the video is really shaky, guys. So it's just a beautiful mauve palette um we have the Lorac pro metal we have a bunch or four color pop eyeshadows and like high strong millie come and get it and another one i don't remember the color palladio eyeshadow the wet and wild not a basic peach and then the new Wet n Wild, Walking on Eggshells. I have the Tardis Pro Palette. Tardis Pro To Go Palette. It's really beautiful. It smells like chocolate. It smells like the chocolate bar from palette from uh, this guy. <laughs> Too Faced. <sighs> I have the Mad for Matte 2 Summer Breeze from Elf. Huda Beauties. We got the Mauve Obsessions and the Warm Brown Obsessions. Beautiful. Um... Kat Von D Shade and Light Eyeshadow Quad in Rust. Also really good. And then the original Comfort Zone. Just because I... I don't know. If I have it, I have it. It's the same thing. I can find other transition shades. So I'm not going to get the new one. But yeah, this is everything in that drawer. In this drawer, we have the blushes. I just got this. This is the newest thing in my collection. It's the blush kit from Anastasia. Beverly Hills. It's amazing. And it's in Radiant. We have a couple um, the Balm blushes. This one's in Hot Mama. This one's in Balm Springs. It's my favorite. This one's in Frat Boy. And this is Cabana Boy. Really great. Um, 
this one's really pigmented. It's How Deep Is Your Love from Too Faced. I fell in love with it because of the packaging. Like, come on, that packaging's stunning. I can't open it with one hand, so. Sorry, guys. Um, Too Faced, Sweetheart, and Candy Glow. I got two Milani. This one's in uh, Luminoso, and then this one is in Dolce Pink. Um, the new Burt's Bees blush in Toasted Cinnamon. This one's really nice. Like, it doesn't seem like it would have any sheen at all. But it do it's like a luminous. Hold on, let's see if I can. Oh, that made it bad. That made it worse. It's like very luminous. Beautiful. Um, I also have this one I got when I hit Rouge. VIB Rouge. It's NARS in, I don't even know how to pronounce that, but it's like a very mauve pink with shimmer. It's stunning. And it's so pigmented too. So I'm just really glad that my brush, my blush brush got to fit in it. This is the Essence Satin Nude Touch, or Satin Touch Blush in Satin Coral. One of my favorites. Estee Lauder Blush in pink kiss and then we have the NYX blush in pink the town so those are all my blushes that I kept after the declutter They're all stunning I really do enjoy them all the, the colors I enjoy the pigmentation I enjoy and everything I enjoy so it's really good um I guess we can do this I have one the balm Bronzers. These are all my bronzers and contours. Um, this is a bronzer, Bahama Wama, from the Balm. It's a little bit darker for me. Um, this is the Palladio, the Definer Contour and Highlight Palette. It has like that perfect banana shade and everything. Contours are a little bit too dark for me again. This is a Smashbox Contour Kit, Contour and Highlight Kit. Really good. Comes with a contour, a bronzer, and a highlight. This is Bronze Booster Physician Formula in light to medium. The Too Faced Endless Summer Bronzer. And doesn't say. But again, it's a little bit too dark for me. But I can pull it off during spring and summer when we do hit the beach more often. And this is obviously like the butter bronzer. I use this more as a contour. This is a bronzer from Physicians Formula. Um, I have the, this used to be my favorite bronzer. I'm not even gonna open it cause I know it's broken. Um, it was in Soulmates Ross and Rachel. I really do wanna buy another one, but it's gone. So, but that used to be my favorite one. This one's a really good one. It's from Essence. It's a Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder for darker skins. They have a lighter skin one too. It's really good. And then the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette. Ooh. <laughs> the Wet n Wild Contour Palette in Caramel Toffee. And then I also have the other one in Dulce de Leche. And then this Elf one that I never used, but I get some use out of it, and I use the packaging as a mirror. Um, wow, highlights, lots of highlights. I have two more wild highlights, the Fergie one, and then the, I'll have a Cosmo one. So unorganized. I'll organize this. This one is the Becca Highlight in Opal, the new one. This is a cover effect stick in Bubbly. Elf blush in Pinktastic, Becca highlight in Moonstone. I have this, the Makeup Revolution Ghost Lights. It's so pretty. It's nice. Um, I also have this Mary Luminizer highlight. This is a highlight I used for my, breast, my best friend during her wedding because I did do her makeup and she looked so pretty in this. So I think I might just buy her a new one and like I think I might buy her a palette that has the same eyeshadow palette that has the same colors as the eyeshadows that I used as a gift so that she can remember her wedding, like the makeup wedding stuff. But yeah. Um, this is 
crown and my canopy. I use it more of an eyeshadow because it's too dark for me. This is a Master Chrome one from Maybelline. This is a Real Colors Stay Glowing Highlighter. This one is beautiful. It's the Too Faced Highlighter in Ray of Light. And then the Becca um, Full Size Highlighter in Champagne Pop. I like how I know where all of these are. Um, this is a highlighter I made, but I put it in the Bye Bye Pores packaging. It's just like a very pink highlighter that I mixed in with all my old highlighters. This is Golden Flower Crown from um, Wild. And then this is Hard Candy Baked Bronzer in Tiki, which is really just a highlight. I also have Precious Petals and Essence Pure and Blue. Just beautiful highlights. Um, oops. I want to organize them too, guys. So over here we have a whole bunch of mascaras. We have like the Benefit Roller Lash, the Rocket Volume, Clinique High Impact Mascara. We have a whole bunch of these mascaras I got from Mexico, which is the only thing that will hold my curls because my lashes are so thick. Um, we have the Super Sizer, Kiko Milani Volumizing Mascara. Um, yeah, just that's it because those are the only lashes I like. Or mascaras I like. And then I have a whole bunch of the NYX for eyebrow stuff. I have a whole bunch of NYX Control Freak eyebrow gel. I have this Ardell Brow Building Fiber Gel in dark brown. I don't really use it. Um, I have the Wet n Wild Retractable Eyebrow Pencil in taupe. Nope, that's not mine. That was my friend for her wedding. I have it in medium brown. Yeah, that sounds more like me. Um, then I have the Maybelline Brow Precise Micro Crayon. And then, that's the Wet n Wild one. I also have the LA Girl one. So, these are a whole bunch of shimmers and, and glitter liners. Just from e.l.f. and like the e.l.f. jumbo sticks. That's what they're, that's what's in there. Um, here are my eyeliners. I have a Rimmel Nude Eyeliner. Two of the Trooper or Tattoo Liners from, um, what's her name? Kat Von D. I have this NYX Epic, NYX Epic Ink Eyeliner, which is basically a dupe for the other one. And then there's some other eyeliners that I really overuse. And then all my eye primers, like the NYX Glitter Primer, Urban Decay Primer, Milani Primer, Matte Pro Long. Pro Long Wear Paint Pot and Painterly. And then this is just a single eyeshadow from Wet n Wild in Creme Brulee. This is where I keep my eye lash glue. I don't really use a lot of falsies, but if I did. So then over here, we have the Carly Bible Palette. And these are all the palettes that I can't fit in this drawer. So I'm, I just put them here. I have a whole bunch of single eyeshadows, loose pigments, and like ColourPop. Glitters from NYX, um, J-Cat Beauty Pigments, lots of glitter, uh, Stila, Eyeshadow, Milani, Kiko, another Wet n Wild one that I'm not using. Oh, and then these L'Oreal ones, which are so pretty. All my fake eyelashes from Ardell. My friend who got married gave me this House of Lashes one, so pretty, but I haven't used it yet. Um, okay, Too Faced Stardust Palette. This is my first baby. I love it so much. I'm never going to get rid of it. My first high-end eyeshadow palette. And then the Morphe eyeshadow palette. Oh, that was weird. Um, and 35F. And then, like, a really pretty metallic model's own eyeshadow. So this thing down here. And then a whole bunch of Bitsy glitter eyeshadows. Over here we have all of my lip products that are not in my purse at the moment. We have some like Milani lip treatments, Milani liquid lipsticks, Maybelline, Vivid Hot Lacquer, um, this is e.l.f., some ColourPop lippy sticks, this is a Clinique one, a sugar scrub from e.l.f., Baby Lips, Milani. This one is so beautiful. It's the Disney Mini. Let's see if I can focus on it. Minnie's Perfect Red Lip 
um, I gave one to my best friend. She wore it for her rehearsal dinner. It was so pretty on her. So saying, Jordana, um, some lip liners. More lip liners. Chapstick. Yeah. In there. This is like some of my Halloween makeup and some stuff that I just like put in here. I don't really know what to do with this. Over here I have my nail files and my some of my uh, nail polishes. And that's just crap. Um, I guess that's it guys. That's all I have so far. That's my whole entire collection as of now, as of March 2018. Oh, um, I have some more nail polishes up here, but other than that, that's all I have. Um, maybe once my boyfriend gets off his butt and actually fixes the entire room, like he said he was, I'll give you guys a room tour and like a bathroom tour and everything, but other than that, <laughs> he's staring at me right now because I'm making fun of him on the internet. Or soon to be on the internet um but until then this is what I have to work with guys and yeah there are many ears behind my head um I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did hit that like button and that subscribe button because that would help help me out a lot uh and if you guys did enjoy this video that's pretty cool because you guys can understand what the hell I'm saying because I don't even know what I'm saying half the time so I'll let you guys go now and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bye, guys. Say bye, Nina. No? Okay. Bye, guys.